Bande Guru Pada Dandam Bhakta Binda Samanitam Sri Chaitanya Prabhu Bande Nitananda Sahoditam Sri Nanda 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 Bande Radhika Charano Dayam Gopi Jano Samayuktam Binda Banamano Haram Pancha kalpataru vasya ke paas indu pyavach Patitanan pavane bhavaishna vibhyo namo namaha Mukhaṁ karoti vācha laṁ paṁ laṁ haiti girim Yatki pāta mahaṁ vande parma anandu mādhavam Vrindhāvai tulsite pai piyāvai kesva sacha Shna Bhakti Pade Devi Satta Vatvai Namo Namah Narayan Namaskritta Narun Chaiva Narottama Devin Saraswati Vyasam Tato Jayo Mudirai Shankirtane Krishna Katho Pudesh Gauriya Patrasya Prakasa Necha Sadhanurakta Guru Bhakti Yukta Bhakti Pramodaksha Jago Baranu Deyam Sada Paribhavagna Babishta Duham Tethas Padam Siva Viranchanotam Saranyam Deetati Hum Panodava Lubhava Diputam Bande Mahapurusate Charuna Ravindam Yat Padapallava Nakachandamani Chatai this Puriji to come up with a Bodu Shadarsh Purna Nuragara Sosagara Sahara Murti Saradi Kami Kada Kitam Karush Sri Krishna Chaitana Prabhunita Nanda Shiad Daita Bada Tarasiva Sadi Gaura Bhakta Binda Sri Krishna Chaitana Prabhunita Nanda Shri Adyaita Gada Dhara Siva Sadihi Gaura Bhakta Binda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Ajahnu Lum Mita Bhujo Kanaka Abhudhatu Shankirtanu Kapitaru Kamala Yatakshu Visham Baro Dija Baro Jagadhar Mupalo Bande Jagat Priya Karo Karuna Abhutharo Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Namami Gange Tavapad Pankajam Sura Surair Bandito Diparupam Bhukti Incha Mukti Incha Tadasinitam Bhavanurupena sada narana Ganga taranga ramani ajatha kalapam Gauri nirantara vibhushi tabam bhagam Narayano priyam anandamada puharam Barana sipurapati bhajavi shanatham Vagisha Jusho Badane Lakshmi Jasacha Bakshasi Jasyas Tehida Sambit Twam Nishingaham Bhaji Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare
एतावनेव लोकयस्मिन् पुंसम धर्म परहस्रित भक्ति योगो भगवती तन्नाम गोहना दिवि एतावने वोकस्मिन् पुंसा धर्म परहस्रित भक्ति योग भगवती तन्नाम गोहना दिवि गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद जगत गुरु परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट अप टिल वेन वी विल नॉट बी गेटिंग गुरु दर्शन अप टिल दैट पॉइंट टू गेट भगवत दर्शन इज नॉट पॉसिबल अप टिल दैट पॉइंट वेन वील विल नॉट गेटिंग गुरु दर्शन अप टिल दैट पॉइंट टू डू हरिनाम इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल एट ऑल कौड़े गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद जगत गुरु परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ट दैट नॉट टू नॉट टू गेट गुरु दर्शन टू गेट भगवत दर्शन इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल एंड भगवत दर्शन एंड गुरु दर्शन दे आर इंटर रिलेटेड टू इच अदर प्रीवियसली ऑल्सो प्रभुपाद हैज टोल्ड इन हरी कथा एंड कीर्तन ही हैज टोल्ड प्रभुपाद हैज टोल्ड दैट इज अ ट्रांसपेरेंटल मीडिया और ट्रांसपेरेंट मीडिया थ्रू व्हिच आई कैन सी एवरीथिंग परटेनिंग टू दैट और प्राकृतिक जगत और प्राकृतिक जगत का व्हाटएवर क्या है व्हाटएवर देयर इन अ प्राकृतिक जगत whatever is there everything you can find out by the medium of guru charan because guru pad padma is the aprakrit medium that transparent medium to which we can see what is what like a person who is just uh, removing his spectacles uh, okay then it is okay for him it will not be possible to see properly those persons who have spectacles on their eyes then they have their different darshan and those who are having that uh, person without sex spectacles they are having darshan that they are having a different darshan so when we are having that uh, guru charan in front of us every which are whatever is there it is not like that i am just uh, sitting in front of guru pad padma and i am just seeing bhagwan and if some person actually thinking like that that i have taken i am i will be going in front of guru pad padma and i will be just uh, by that medium i will be seeing in front of uh, guru pad padma and be sitting and seeing bhagwan it is not like that you haven't understand the point what i am speaking guru charan means that is a transparent medium why because because apart from guru charan there is nothing else from our starting of bhajan till the end everything is guru charan without that nothing is there and guru charan is to see by that medium means guru charan to see that by medium by that medium to see that that is a transparent media or you can say transparent media through which you can see everything in the aprakrit charan it means that guru charan ka guru charan that every vichar of guru charan and every bhav and whatever siddhant vichar of guru charan everything adarsh acharan everything in toto if we are just uh, uh, following that in our own life that is called uh, the transparent media what we are following of guru dev that is to follow guru guru pad padma in toto if i i haven't seen any kind of shloka and i don't know the meaning of that shloka and if we will be just discussing the shloka on our own then there will be some fault because in bengali there is one bhajan karo prabhu dakti bahut sare aisa lot of things are there in india lot of people used to speak if you want to do the meaning then you do you have to do guru anugatya aisa karke so like this a lot something is there guru pad padma and guru pad padma whatever siddhant vichar it is coming inside our heart it getting manifested inside our heart then automatically 
according to our own self we will not be uh, doing that uh, particular meaning because gurudev that whatever darshan of guru charan and which are and other achan whatever is of that gurudev if we if we are man taking it in our own life then it is called uh, the transparent media otherwise the meaning is different the meaning will be different like this shlok parab jit keshav ko shiva parab jit keshav ko swami maharaj has just uh, told us the actual meaning of this shlok and uh, some person has given a second uh, meaning of this uh, shlok so lot of vichar is there so that's why prabhupad actually speaking that there is also one vichar there that so guru so hari All this which are according to that everything is done. Bhagwan mantra roop. That Bhagwan has come in the form of mantra roop, and he has just have taken Avirbhav in the form of mantra, and has just got Avirbhav in front of an shastra. Bhagwan has just told this himself. Bhagwan has just told this point himself. Bhagwan has told himself this point that we and me are not different from each other. They are one and the same. That's why the vichar of Veda. If we are just discussing that, big, big intelligent people. They are speaking Suryo by speaking Suryo, Suri. That is Suri. Suryo is a bahu vachan. Here actually, Divya Suri. Suri Suri means Suryo means Suri gan. Those who are whose vichar is very high, topmost, who can just see past, present, and future, they are Suri. They have a very topmost vichar. Who has a very uh, topmost darshanik vichar. And Divya means they are topmost, like. गायत्री मंत्र वी आर जस्ट स्पीकिंग बिफोर दैट इट इज रिटर्न देयर इन द मंत्र देर इज वन पॉइंट दैट एक अक्षर ब्रह्म मंत्र ओमिति ओमिति के एक अक्षर विष्णु परम पदम सदा पश्यन्ति सूरयो दिविगो चक्षुः यहां भी सूरयो है हेयर आल्सो सूरयो इज देयर माने क्या है व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय सूरयो एक्चुअली Om, you already know that is a Kaksha Brahm Mantra. That is Swayam Bhagwan only. That Om may be coming in front of us in the form of Maha Mantra. It is coming. Mahaprabhu has already manifested this point, and sometimes in the pre previous uh, life we we can see it in the form of Om, and sometimes it is just coming in the form of flute. Everything is one. Why? How it is one? Yes, everything is one only, one and the same. In Brahma Samhita, it is written. Brahma ji speaking this point. This is not a normal point. Brahma ji speaking. But from where Shabd Brahma is coming out? when that gopal in his mouth is just taking it in his mouth just speaking with the flute so what is the actual point that we have just heard it from gurudev we i don't have the direct feeling but by the guru kripa this kind of meaning is coming by the kripa of bhagwan gurudev will told you beta that this brahm vastu sometimes is coming in the form of word akshar one is coming in form of one word and and it is coming in in it is natural nitya present and it coming in the form of mahamantra and that vamshit one is all one and the same how it is possible like that om that is only mahamantra and slowly steadily when will we just going into deep into bhajan slowly steadily when we doing bhajan slowly steadily slowly steadily when will be doing bhajan and just not like a normal bhajan with bhajan with full preeti when you will be doing like gopika hai gopikas all the time they are just hearing that flute of krishna in their ears all the time 
together they are actually in the material things all the time they are hearing that flute of the krishna so gurudev actually told that when if you have done actual bhajan and at then at the last time and uh, under the anugatya of uh, gorang mahaprabhu and radharani if you have just done the bhajan in a correct form correct order then at last that sadhu will just get uh, uh, his mind will be just gone away somewhere else so this uh, sound of flute is just like uh, as if it's somebody is calling us gopikas thinking that aparakrit kamdev is just attracting us by that flute flu, sound of that flute that mahamatri swayam radha govind radhe shyam radhe radhe this mahamantra that is also man and the same This is only one and the same mantra, and at the last time we can understand, realize that in the form of flute, that Abhrakrit Kamdev is just attracting us and just want to take us. And we will be discussing it later. That first we just need to understand what Prabhupada used to. Speak. want to speak to us proper actually speaking that shri gurudev is uh, uh, a prakrit bhagavat temple now you can have this vichar now you can just understand lo now what proper speaking that shri gurudev is a prakrit bhagavat temple he is actually gurudev is swayam mandir a prakrit temple of bhagwan in this temple only bhagwan is there you have that confidence you have someone has confidence full 100% oh yes i have okay very less i have that confidence but full is not there 100% confidence is not there we have 50% if you will get half confidence you will get half result so proper actually speaking so shri gurudev is aprakrit bhagavat mandir temple so in this temple only gurudev is there all the bhagwan is there all the time and in this temple all the time continuously bhagwat naam bhagwat naam sound that a prakrit sound bhagwat naam is just going on from his lotus mouth all the time from the lotus mouth of gurudev bhagwat naam is going on you can see hanuman ji maharaj that like each and every hair follicle holy ram naam is going on jay shri ram jay raj jay jay ram shri ram like from each and every hair follicle that ram naam is going on like the same gurudev also each and every time i am not speaking maybe swayam radha rani is speaking this i will be just speaking this point because together everything will not happen so gurudev is a prakrit temple and in this temple bhagwan is there inside that temple and all the time just by taking the bhagwat naam he is taking it from the lotus mouth all the time continuously spontaneous hari naam going on from the mouth and that aprakrit temple he is actually speaking or doing hari naam all the time and with prem vashya and bhagwan is actually just getting uh, attracted by prema bhagwan is actually attracted by the bhakti of the bhakt devotees and they are just getting attracted by that all the time bhagwan getting attracted by the uh, by the bhakti devotional practice of devotees your tremendous love affair nothing else on money power and having gyan power and education power just to attract bhagwan it is not at all possible that's why swarat that um, that's why the name of bhagwan is swarat and bhagwan has already spoken that bhagwan has told this point they all these two points are correct bhagwan that bhagwan is not at all uh, uh, is under any guidance and at the same time bhagwan is under the shelter of devotees both simultaneously are right why because he is bhagwan otherwise uh, it is not possible for other material persons to do this contradictory points cannot be for 
other persons, these bonded jivas, in this whole 14 uh, material move, 14 uh, material world, uh, it is not possible for anyone. It is not applicable for everyone. It is only op only applicable for uh, Swayam Bhagwan. That these are two contradictory points. They are simultaneously one and different from each other. And at the same time, the contradictory point about Bhagwan. There is that is a contradictory point. The first point that Bhagwan is Swarat, okay, and is independent. Is Param Swarat, Param independent. How it can be possible? Simultaneously, Bhagwan is speaking that I am actually foolish. And Duryodhan says, I actually don't want uh, to take food. He is speaking to Duryodhan. And if you don't want to eat, then why you are actually in the Vidurani, Vidu's house, you are just want to get food. Just now you were speaking to Duryodhan that uh, there is no difference of house between uh, Duryodhan uh, and Vidu's house. There is not much uh, distance between that. I have gone there. But he's Krishna speaking that I no, have no hungry, I, I don't want to eat anything. And that uh, gold and uh, all kheer kachodi, everything was there. Malbua, laddu, everything was there. Uh, he just uh, got uh, to the Vidur's house and he's speaking, Oh, I am very hungry. Because Why is this kind of bar? Because he is Bhagwan. So at the time, these two contradictory points can simultaneously be present in Bhagwan only. It is impossible to get Bhagwan. It is next to impossible to get Bhagwan. But it is very easy to get Bhagwan. If you are just taking the shelter of Nam Prabhu, then you with full prem bhav you are uh, ask, calling Bhagwan. Then uh, like running attitude, Bhagwan will come to you. Like Draupadi just called Bhagwan, Bhagwan just came. Why he will not come? Definitely there is one way, there is one procedure, but we don't know what that procedure is. So that's why Prabhupada actually speaking that Bhagwan is always attracted by that prema of the devotees and by inside the uh, Sadhu Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan get manifested by that uh, prema Bhagwan just get attracted by those Sadhu Guru Vaishnava and is just get manifested inside their heart and they all the time Bhagwan is present inside their heart. Bhakti Bhakta Bhagavan. Naam, etc. Everything. In the Shastras also it is written. This shloka actually, Raghupati Upadhyay, Mahaprabhu actually just uh, speaking with Raghupati Upadhyay. And Mahaprabhu wants to hear because he is actually the disciple of Madhvendra Puripad and he is a very topmost devotee, Raghupati Upadhyay, one very nice Brahman. If someone actually just uh, doing Shruti and reading Shruti, he can go. He is doing bhajan of Shruti, maybe he is reading Shruti and he is just discussing that Shruti. And Smriti Shastra, someone is actually, and someone is taking Shruti Smriti Shastra, someone is just taking Mahabharata and reading that. Uh, going to so much places 
in the veranda in the veranda of that nand maharaj that swayam parat par param param ram parat par ekleshwar naam naam ye bhin bhagwan shri krishna is just just playing there in that veranda bhagwan is doing krida all the time he is playing with the playing mood he is playing there prabhupada actually speaking lot of people that lot of people are also seeing this we can see that in them that they are actually doing preaching in this material uh, field and they will be seeing they have so much greediness inside their heart that they have so greediness for bhagwat darshan maybe they will just break off that without bhagwan they will just be killed they will be dead so these do don't have this they actually they are not uh, f- f- finding carefully that they haven't taken any guru darshan so how bhagwat darshan is possible so this secret technique that uh, top most secret uh, hidden treasure they are not actually understanding this point in guru darshan in guru darshan bhagwat darshan is possible that they will not be even having that introduction of the bhakti so you cannot start bhakti even without guru darshan when you will be getting guru darshan only then you, uh, bhakti can be possible guru is uh, actually just uh, making my relationship with the bhagwan and want, want to make my meeting with bhagwan krishna actually in this material world that is just making uh, those uh, top most vishnu of pure vishnu is just uh, all are sitting by the grip of bhagwan that is actually the top most uh, benefit we are getting that uh, bhagwan is just in order to just save a uh, beast like me as uh, this gurudev has just come in front of us to save me and bhagwan has just sent gurudev in uh, in the form of gurudev is coming in front of me to save me from this material world because gurudev is all merciful then all those the topmost vaishnavas uh, bhagwan has just given the introduction of the topmost vaishnav in front of us there so how we can just get delivered by them i must be dead before but all the shiksha guru diksha guru they have just came in order to save me from this material world oh beta where you are going you come here you come here where you want to go come here so this kind of mercifulness vigraha full mercy vigraha that gurudev has come in front of me that vigraha by that vigraha that guru swayam that is just doing the giving the instructions of the shiksha of hari naam to us the with full prema actually he has just taught me that gurudev that is mant that mantra is swayam bhagwan now we are not understanding at all but maybe today today or tomorrow we will be understanding this point that mantra and bhagwan is not different from each other gurudev told that vigraha seva about vigraha seva to me that you need to do seva like this of that vigraha and you just need to do the seva of naam like this you do you need to do mal like valna karinam i don't want to hear anything you need to do valna karinam gurudev speaking this is the actual upadesh of gurudev it is very important to follow that and if i will not be following that then definitely nothing will happen in my life whether anything can happen i definitely have to do one lakh harinam definitely have to do definitely have to do otherwise nothing will happen in any condition like means we have to do under the guidance of anugatya if my sleeping is restricted everything is restricted not by my own self any how i have to adjust the time i have to do the naam sankirtan of bhagwan and gurudev is kirtan vikraha and it, it, gurudev has given me the instruction to just uh, do kirtan like this and 
दिस एक्चुअली हेज गुरुदेव द एक्चुअली इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ गुरुदेव भक्ति में ठाकुर स्पीकिंग दिस पॉइंट इन इस कीर्तन ओनली संभ्रम संभ्रम मीन्स इन साइड सम भाव इज देयर ट्रांसडेंटल भाव इज देयर डैट इज एक्चुअली गुरुदेव this kind of which are it's coming that gurudev is uh, gurudev is all, all the time with me that is samram there is one kind of avi sam shraddha mishrit bhav which shraddha when you will be having that faith inside your heart that that anxiety is coming inside your mind that carefulness attention is coming inside your mind that is called samram that with full attentive mood you are doing seva and only whether you are just away from gurudev you are doing seva it is not possible shastra speaking it is already written there in shastras sambhram means very with very great care and sincerity like with very attentive mood guru seva karna you just need to do guru seva sambhram ka saath with sambhram means with full confidence with full patience by doing guru seva slowly steadily in, uh, when we'll be going in the forward direction that hari naam shuddh hari naam will go on to our, definitely come on our tongue like swarup damodar he is raghunath das goswami is doing antarang seva of swarup damodar he is getting the seva of swarup damodar goswami रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी इज जस्ट गेटिंग स्वरूप दम सेवा ऑफ स्वरूप दामोदर गोस्वामी एंड इट इज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न इन चैतन्य चिताम्रित ऑल्सो दैट इज स्वरूप दामोदर ही हैज डन द सेवा ऑफ स्वरूप दामोदर दैट इज कॉल्ड द्वितीय स्वरूप दैट्स वाई हिज नेम इज द्वितीय स्वरूप हिज नेम इज द्वितीय स्वरूप दिस द्वितीय स्वरूप द्वितीय स्वरूप मीन्स He is not different. That is the second body of Mahaprabhu because he has done seva of Mahaprabhu, and that's why it is written in Chetanya Chitamrit also that he has got the antarang seva of Mahaprabhu. That just by the kripa of Nityanand Prabhu, Nityanand Prabhu speaking, that you just go to Pushottam Dham and all your material bondage will just get cut, and you don't worry. You just go there. Your material bondage will just get vanquished, and you, when you will go to Purushottam Dam, definitely Prabhu will give you the seva of Swarup Damodar, and after that, at last time, that you will get the antarang seva of Radha Govind. This Mah Shriman Mah, that is the actual Upadesha Mahaprabhu. So that is actually Swayam Mahaprabhu speaking to Raghunath Das Goswami. So this Adesh by this Adesh, Raghunath Das Goswami, that he got that Prem Dhan. No, slowly, steadily, when he is doing Hari Nam, slowly, steadily, when he is doing Hari Nam, he just got that Prem, topmost Prem. And especially in this Kali Kal, that uh, Ma, Ma, Bhagwan has come in Nam Roop. There is a, actually no other uh, limb of bhakti you can do. Bhagwan is speaking that I am the avatar. Bhagwan in the form of Lila avatar is coming in the form of name Nam. In Kali Kal only in the Swaroop of Nam Bhagwan is coming in manifesting in front of us. Mahaprabhu this kind of instruction we has given to us. Mahaprabhu has has given the glorification of Hari Nam to us. In the Shastra, Om Shri Nam Mahima is always there in the Shastra. Before that, also it is written there in the Shastra. It is not that that only Kali Kali Kal is today, and that glorification has just spread in all the four directions. It is there, but this is actually the topmost mercifulness of Mahaprabhu. But before that, also that in a very like a like a flower is in a bud condition. That flower. it has not get sprouted in the full full blossomed form that full blossom fold is not there that is the glorification of harina mahaprabhu has spread it already otherwise it was there before also but no but for the people don't know that much 
about the glorification of Nam. It was there, but nobody knows. Everyone was uncertain about Hari Nam glorification. So that's why. Slowly, steadily, Mahaprabhu by the kripa of Mahaprabhu, with food, with, with full bluesome form, that Hari Nam just to get manifested in front of us. Now we can get that in the form of Hari Nam. The glorification of Hari Nam is already there in the shastra, like a kumut, kumut flower. In the and then at the day time is just becoming very small and. Uh, and when that uh, moon is coming in the night time, it just come in his full bluesome form, that Kumudini flower, slowly, steadily, it is just getting bluesomed. So, Bhakti Vinod Thakur has already spoken this point. The same thing he has spoken. Kalika means that before that flower, it is coming in the bud condition, very small uh, condition, but slowly, steadily, it is just getting into full bluesome form. Bhakti Vinod Thakur speaking the same thing, that it is just Kali, that flower of Kali is very small. So the glorification of Harinam in the Shastra, it is just like a Kumut flower. It is already there in the Shastra, before also. When Mukarang Mahaprabhu has just, uh, in full uh, form, has just manifested that Harinam in full attractive form, and has just spread that Harinam all the four directions, he has just manifested that. And Sri Kaur Chandra has just manifested that in all the four directions. That uh, the Madhujya of Harinam, the sweetness of Harinam, and whatever the Mahaprabhu has just told to the whole world, you see how this Harinam is. The glorification of Harinam has just manifested in this front of whole material world. This Bhava, there is one given one new pathway, there is Mahaprabhu has opened for whole material uh, people. And uh, literally, there is a new pathway open here. My Mahaprabhu, that uh, that is the actually infinity merciful mood of Mahaprabhu. These Guru Vaishnavas are coming in front of us, and they are all the time just uh, speaking about uh, like uh, honeybees. They are just speaking Harinam uh, under the guidance of Gorang Mahaprabhu. They are speaking it Harinam. They are just at the lotus feet of Gorang Mahaprabhu. That uh, honeybees. They are with full greediness, they are actually just taking all the time, they are just going around the lotus feet of Gorang Mahaprabhu and speaking Harinam from their tongue. And they are just taking the this kind of honeybee, that honeybee, it is actually, whenever they will just get the support of any lotus feet, then definitely you will just get out of this material world. If you just take the shelter of any of the honeybees, even if the dog is also have taken the lot uh, shelter of the lotus feet, he has just realized the uh, lotus feet of the Gorang Mahaprabhu. That is the actual glorification because Prabhu is Namai. Prabhu is Swayam Namai. Nam Nam is everything. Everything it is that he swam Nam Mai. That is Nam Prabhu. That's why Mahaprabhu has just uh, taught us from Brahad Naraji Puran that in Kalikal, this distressful uh, Jeevatma is very, very supportless that person who is very fall down in order to uh, teach them Mahaprabhu has told, told us this shloka by this shloka Mahaprabhu has all the times is speaking about the Nam Tattva and uh, the glorification of Nam and has just uh, uh, told us the glorification of Harinam and there is no other way open in this Kalikal 
actually the point is that that those who are doing bhajan they are actually just uh, according to their ruchi they are doing bhajan and according to their nature they are just taking different limbs of bhakti and they are doing bhajan it is actual rules those who have ruchi in a certain bhakti, limb of bhakti prabhupad in his life in the life of prabhupad there is actually a very important point which we can see that prabhupad if any person is coming in front of him he can just see the eyes of that particular person and can just read the heart that what is there inside his heart and according to that prabhupad he used to uh, indulge him in seva sometimes prabhupad used to do leela as well just so that whether he has that false ego inside his heart or not like bhakti shodha ashram go swami maharaj like externally he is like a very tall figure very beautiful looking but still prabhupad actually when he just came in front of prabhupad he has just given uh, the seva of field you actually you just take potatoes tomatoes like that like i have just taken a lot of sacks of potatoes on my head so the same way prabhupad actually is speaking whenever he is coming in front of prabhupad he just by seeing the uh, externally by seeing his face he just used to give him seva accordingly like uh, ashram maharaj is just testing him actually you go there in the field and do the field work and after that he said that you he become the in charge of the south india mart korya mart so mahaprabhu this naam the glorification of naam tat naam mahima has just uh, glorified uh, in this whole uh, material world in the form of shiksha ashtakam sambandha vidya prayojan he has taught us and how to do hari naam and what kind of condition will be done when you will be doing hari naam and what you the result you will get after doing shuddha hari naam yesterday we have just started this uh, point and today also we will discuss this so mahaprabhu has uh, just told in relation to this krishna naam that all those achatanya jeev who are there in this material world they just want to get that chaitanya to this uh, uh, pandit jeevas uh, mahaprabhu has just got very busy in just giving that this point actually prabodhan saraswati jeevas has just manifested in front of us that shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu is the swayam is swayam he is doing hari naam and he is just getting rolled over on this uh, uh, on the ground and just speaking hari naam and nitanand prabhu also it is already written in the kirtan that mahaprabhu has given the instruction he is actually following that tanand prabhu so in this way there is one different uh, way pathway uh, shown by mahaprabhu that why that it is written by about mahaprabhu that kashu naam naam mahimna kuvita kashu vrindavana vino maha madhuri shubhavesha kuva janati radham param rasas chamatkar madhuri jusima ekah chaitanya chanda param karunaya sarvam avishchakar sarvam avishchakar हरिनामरी That's why one uh, philosopher has just told that Prem, that Prem Nam, has so much glorification uh, that uh, whenever it is going in the ears, then whenever it will, uh, 
दैट महामाधुरी वृंदावन इस मधुर में वृंदावन हाउ वी कैन जस्ट ग्लोरीफाई दैट वृंदावन वी हैवेंट अंडरस्टैंड वी हैवेंट थिंक ऑफ दैट टू हाउ टू ग्लोरीफाई वृंदावन Who knows about that? Radha Rani just to Krishna uh, wants to take the dust particle of Radha Rani lotus feet. Nobody knows. Nobody knows about this. Nobody knows about this point that uh, Krishna wants to take the dust particle of lotus feet of Radha Rani. Uh, and uh, how? What is the glorification of Radha Rani? Nobody knows. And that param ras, that absolute ras, that absolute ras, that param ras, that is what is the actual magic of the lotus feet of this uh, madhur ras. Krishna has just taught us. Already it was there, but they have just uh, with innovation they have just discovered it again. Has just uh, opened us in front of us again. So by this shloka, in kali kali kal, Bhagwan Nam is topmost uh, benefit for all the jivas. It is already discovered in front of every jiva in the glorification of Hari Nam in this material world. Mahaprabhu is actually speaking about that. Uh, what is the actual meaning of the shloka? Then, if we will not be manifesting that, then everything will become. Uh, that that's why in this kali kal Mahaprabhu actually speaking, in this uh, material world, this shlok I have already told. This shlok, what is the actual meaning of this shlok? What is the inner meaning? If this is not getting inside our realization, then it is useless. Then there will be disrespect. A lot of time it is going on. From lot of time, this kind of disrespect is going on. We are actually not paying attention to it. So all those persons are going according to their own will, and whatever the they are actually liking, they are just following that bhajan padhati, that Krishna, Krishna prem, and Krishna naam in their relationship, in that in between that relationship, in that jiva. That Purna Chaitanya Pradada, that Gorang Mahaprabhu has just manifested in front of us. That Hari Nam, glorification of Hari Nam, that Mahamaduri, that topmost rasa of that Mahamaduri of Hari Nam is just manifested by Mahaprabhu in front of us. Only Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has, with full merciful attitude, has just manifested in front of us. Lot of kirtan are there. Regarding this, lot of kirtan are there, no? Lot of kirtan are there in Bengali. Mahaprabhu has just manifested in front of us in Kali Kal. Mahaprabhu, this is actually giving this uh, glorification of Harinam, that Harinam is coming in the form of, uh, in this Kali Kal, in that all this uh, Jagat will just get uh, delivered from all this. And from, for this confirmation, three times Mahaprabhu speaking, for the confirmation of the fact that without Harinam nothing can happen. And material person will not understand this point. In order to just uh, give him understanding that definitely this affirmative he is using, then definitely this Harinam he has to do. And only Harinam hi kevalam, only that keval means only by Harinam only. They are actually giving stamp that that is 100% uh, stamp is there. That if someone is actually thinking it in a different way, that Mahaprabhu actually speaking uh, is taking in a negative way, then he will not get delivered at all. Dusak 
Nobody, uh, according to the different paddhati, if he is following, if he is, and the other person is thinking in a negative way, then definitely he will not be getting delivered. Nahi, nahi, nahi means no, 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 they will not at all get delivered. Three times. So that's why now, that Sikshashtakam, that I have just given the detail, instruction, detailed instruction of Sikshashtakam. Here Mahaprabhu actually has just told that first shloka of the Sikshashtakam. This shloka, we will be just discussing it, that in this whole material world, all the four directions, the fire is burning. Where you will go, America, Russia, Canada, where you will go, Australia, where you will go, all, everywhere that fire is just going on. In India also it is going on, all four directions fire is there, fire of material, distress is there. Who will actually just, uh, uh, Bhagavan, Mahaprabhu is from Bhagavan, Cheto Darpan Madhiram De Shloka, Cheto Darpan you just need to clean if some um, uh, dust particle is there on that mirror and if you are just taking dust particle and doing bhajan that with anarth nivriti definitely you just need to clean that dust particle of from the mirror that is the first point cheto darpan madrano so this point mahaprabhu has told us and by Cheto Darpan Mahajanan, after all, all four directions, fire is burning. Only that in Paramahant state, those with full anand, they are just doing Nam Sankirtan all the time. Like Pralad Maharaj, I have already told. Lok Vahyo. Externally, what people will speak externally, we don't have any thinking about that. They are not thinking about that. Slowly, steadily, with the full heart doing Sankirtan, they are just getting that transcendental nature. Just by taking the Nam Sankirtan of Bhagavan, he is doing Nitya, he is dancing. And if someone is actually speaking wrong about them and uh, they don't have any uh, anything, uh, they are not at all observing in anyone. So this Cheto Darpan, this Prasanga, that is in order to just clean our heart, that we just need to get rid of all the anartha. From the first shloka, Mahaprabhu has told us about the condition of the all the bonded jivas and what is the serious condition of all the bonded jivas. That Nam Sankirtan is the topmost Mahaprabhu has told. That is the topmost Nam Nam Sankirtan. Param Vijayate. Vijayate not. It's Param Vijayate. Topmost victorious. That's why Prabhupada told. Prabhupada also told that uh, our Gaudiyamat, this our vichar is there of our Gaudiyamat, that, that what is our slogan of Gaudiyamat? This. This is our actual slogan. Chaitanya Mat, in the gate of Chaitanya Mat, Ma, uh, Prabhupada has written this. Why Param? Param Vijayate Narayan Sankirtanam, why have it told? Why? They can speak Param Vijayate in a single Sankirtan. Why they haven't told that? Why? What is the reason? Only Krishna, Ram can't come? No, no, no. Param Vijayate. Okay, but that in order to get Param Vijay, that topmost victorious, that is Krishna Sankirtanam only. Why? Because a part of whatever avatar is there inside that, that bhav is there. By that bhav, that, that bhav that will not get uh, uh, topmost uh, sproutness inside your heart, that bhav will not 
the bhav will not get topmost proudness inside your heart because bhagwa with bhagwan you will get the topmost prem bhakti with krishna avatar with swayam krishna so what is the actual reason behind this so that uh, prem relationship should be there so is what uh, with which way you will get that shant dash sakya vatsalya madhur this five kind of topmost transcendental rasa in toto and in totally they are there in shri krishna there it is it is possible to exchange with krishna and you can't just exchange with shri ram and varaha narsimha dev not with anyone you can't exchange that five rasa only it is possible to exchange with bhagwan shri krishna and that too with nanda nandan bhagwan shri krishna it is possible to exchange these five transcendental rasas all these five transcendental rasas brajvasi is actually they are just exchanging it with krishna all the time with full prem bhav each and every bhav they have just exchanged according to their own uh, uh, bhav like nanda baba and yashoda maiya uh, there is no one there is no one uh, uh, can stand in front of them that is the topmost example of the vatsalyas yashoda maiya and nanda baba they are the topmost example of vatsalyas so in the same way if you are just be thinking of the other ras ratrak patrak they are in dasya topmost in santa all those cows and trees are there and in sakharas that their friend shri ram shri ram vasudam all these friends are there of krishna they are actually with sakharas they are actually exchanging it with bhagwan and nand baba and shoda maiya are just uh, prabhavati all those uh, old uh, and grown people they are just actually exchanging vatsalyas with krishna and inside bhagwan this kind of bhava what is there inside your heart in order to reciprocate it that reciprocation bhav is there with bhagwan someone actually just exchanging priti with someone in return he hasn't given him the return then Uh, it is not possible so what kind of bhav someone is actually showing according to that bhagwan is just reciprocating that bhav and uh, that's why there is kind of anand created there is actually anand like raj to ram ji dand karanya that rishi muni is speaking to shri ram that i just want to kiss you and just want to ram chandra ji that speaking that it is not possible now but definitely because this is actually ram avatar for me so i can't do that in this yug i am maryada purushottam i will not be following strict rule regulations so i can't do that now so after that definitely you'll get anand when i'll come in the krishna swarup in braj dham i'll just get uh, uh, then you came there and i will just be doing fulfilling your desire so just by the kripa of ram chandra ji they got uh, they just take the form of braj gopis there are a lot of braj gopis there are different kind of braj gopis i'll be discussing you don't know actually about this point that so only bhagwan shri krishna is there that nand baba yashoda bhaiya yashoda maiya that vatsalya bhai they are exchanging and that is the end point end point that is infinity end point is not there is no finite conception regarding this end point that is the topmost apart from that nothing is there and this end point means that is uh, wrong because it is going on increasing it is just going on increasing it it just goes on increasing that's it and bhagwan swayam also is actually taking this bhav actually just giving uh, is manifesting this bhav the so whatever bhav is there inside their heart if they will be actually giving which are about that that krishna is getting krishna is the topmost love for me and that is actually the krishna's uh, topmost quality whether shridam shrudam they are is thinking that uh, krishna having topmost they are actually thinking in dasaras ratra patra that bhagwan is topmost for me so according to their own uh, thing they are according to their own platform when they are standing they are thinking that their own rasa and bhav is topmost for krishna and 
and they are actually realizing that then uh, otherwise accordingly everything is excellent that baba yashoda maya will be speaking that is the topmost baba challeras is the topmost for me but when you will be standing on neutral platform it is written in chaitanya charitamrit that with the neutral thinking the topmost uh, is the madhurya ras that is also the parikya madhurya ras is topmost in this so much uh, prabhav is there effect is there that krishna also can't give answer to this not possible for krishna that's why krishna speaking that they are actually so much uh, all the time they are calling me these prajavasis that uh, how what can i do i am getting vashibhut i am just getting attracted to them that in return i can't give them anything bhav definitely i will return them it is written there that bhav in return whatever bhav gopika has shown bhagwan is getting anand and krishna is showing more anand and when gopis are seeing his anand they are getting more anand and krishna is also getting more anand and this is going on increasing with infinity thing it is going on like that this is in bengali there is one competition of anand going on there and there is no end to that and where it is extended to infinity it is written there this kind of actually of it is actually increasing and where it is going it is written there that this prem vritti this maturity of this prema is actually getting it has no there is no accommodation for that it is going towards infinity in chaitanya charitamrit also it is written that this is actually getting matured uh, but still it is getting uh, there is no range up till where it will get extended when he will get a ruchi in harinam then he will not understand by just doing arguing mood that uh, by harinam uh, this can just manifested in front of us it is not possible bhagwan is actually just attracted automatically by the prema this kind of uh, glorification of harinam is there like i have already told in the starting now that that previously also from very last days i am just speaking about the dharma that how you need to follow dharma in bhagavad gita mahapuran this is actually written there manyata diya this stamp is given in mah bhagavad gita mahapuran that tremendous bhakti yog by tremendous bhakti yog you if you are just calling krishna and krishna naam and krishna naam all qualities you are just speaking that is called the absolute dharma in the ultimate paramans stage that thing i am already talking that those paramans people paramans those paramans vaishnav this there is also stage first stage second stage and third stage in them and those paramans people this kind of vichar is there that they are actually all the time liking hari naam because they know the actual glorification of naam that they are just taking hari naam all the time and they are speaking hari naam that is called absolute dharma that by just taking hari naam that is the topmost bhajan last bhajan last stage of bhajan just speaking hari naam that's it at the last time there is krishna smriti there is thinking of krishna that is the topmost thing apart from that nothing is there just we need this only only by just having the smriti thinking of hari naam that is the topmost thing when we are just uh, getting in depth of hari naam just by uh, in bhagavad gita mahapurana it is written when we are just that is the topmost glorification when we are not thinking of anything and just speaking hari naam if someone actually is thinking 
दैट फर्स्ट चेतु दर्पण माजरन आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दिस श्लोका श्री शास्त्रकम दैट परम विद्यते श्री कृष्ण शंकर द महाप्रभु हैज टोल्ड हिम हिमसेल्फ दैट बिकॉज़ भगवान नंदनंदन श्री कृष्ण इन बृहद भगवत अमृत इन बृहद भगवत अमृत आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दिस पॉइंट एंड वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड देयर एंड आई आल्सो वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड मायसेल्फ दिस पॉइंट दैट देयर आल्सो इट इज रिटन there also it is written that uh, why this is like this that there are different different kinds of uh, bhakti glorification of bhakti is there there is countless glorification and if devotees are infinity then the the ways of bhakti is also infinity So that can be equal to some bhava it cannot be possible different that that lalita devi what kind of prema has krishna and krishna what kind of prema has for lalita devi and tung vidra prema there has some speciality in that shila sanatan go swami body has just manifested in front of us that everyone has their own from their own standpoint they are having a different uh, view shakta shakta ek nahi that is not at all same for everyone everyone has some speciality so this speciality everything is there who and with which bhav with with which bhav they are actually doing bhajan and bhagwan is reciprocating that bhav to that devotee and bhagwan is also taking the taste of that bhava what the devotee is exchanging everyone has different bhava that nobody has the same bhav ek jaisa nahi nobody has same bhav everyone has different bhav so only bhagwan shri krishna is there ram ji also not there narsingha de varade nobody is there who can just exchange bhav like krishna varade lakshan kahiye aapka kya kahe nishingha de स्वरूप में आपको मिलने वाला ईच एंड एवरी डिवोटी इज एक्चुअली इन साइड इज हार्ट हैविंग दैट वी विल डेफिनेटली डिस्कस ऑन दिस पॉइंट टूमोरो दैट ईच एंड एवरी डिवोटी दैट इज जस्ट गेटिंग प्रेमा फॉर कृष्णा अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट भावा ही जस्ट वॉन्ट टू मीट भगवान अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट according to his particular bhava only it is possible for krishna to know that because krishna is krishna sachidananda vikram anadi radhika bindu sarva karana karana krishna sarga auto koi that apart from krishna no one is there he is the cause of all causes so those who have that kind of bhav what kind of desire they have in regards to krishna according to that krishna is responding him and just want to reciprocate that bhav in the form of ram if krishna will come in definitely that he will exchange bhav and according to the bhav different bhava krishna is exchanging with them jasoda maiya ye shoda maiya agar aisa to ho hi nahi sakta this is not possible at all krishna is cross intersection of ras that is called ras abhas that is not one ras is actually against the other there if it intersects with it, that is called rasa bhas if there is intersection of rasa that is a topmost thing in naam bhajan naam bhajan mein this is a very big thing in naam bhajan i have already seen this koi aisa bhi sadhu that there is also some sadhu there who is actually doing naam bhajan all the time but still he is doing naam bhajan but if he is actually from gauriya math and he is actually under the kanugatya of prabhupad then those what realization he can get from naam bhajan some bhav must be there but we am very much surprised that there is having different bhav inside him he is actually is thinking that uh, himself as a child according to our gauriya vichar ओके लेट अस नॉट आवर कृष्णा बाबा जी महाराज ऑल्सो ही इज एक्चुअली साधु 
lot of sadhus are there but in a flu full fledged form when that uh, coming in a full bruise on form that one godia mart is going he is by just getting the grip of radha rani he is actually gopi bhajan is the top boss it is already written this is not a prescription it is the target of ours this is our target that is uh, before only that what i can speak new श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु द विचार ऑफ महाप्रभु इफ वी विल बी जस्ट टेकिंग दैट वी हैव जस्ट टेकन दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू योर परंपरा देन डेफिनेटली दैट एक्सट्रीम लव what will be the actual benefit what will be the actual benefit that is the gopi bhav what mahaprabhu has shown in front of us mahaprabhu has not told us about dasya bhav or sakya bhav mahaprabhu has just shown us the topmost madhurya bhav that is our target but there is actually no fault that if someone is getting uh, getting sakya bhav or some other bhav that according to slowly steadily how naam uh, it is getting inside his heart is just uh, bhajan just got stick up till that just by taking the ras of uh, naam but he can't get uh, forward after that it can be possible that is the final outcome he is getting that is the final outcome and before that whatever he is just getting uh, uh, satisfied before that then it can also be possible he just stick to that point that is also possible so that's why if some guru varga we have just uh, heard that uh, just by doing hari naam they just used to do hari naam in vatsalya ras and someone is taking the bhav of sakya ras i have heard that but uh, directly i haven't uh, but i have heard that that in sakya ras baba ji maharaj always used to and other and krishna das baba ji maharaj also used to do in sakya ras but bhagwan is actually everything is there in that so whatever the previous shlok was a god has spoke in that shiksha ashtakam shiksha ashtakam what is the actual motive of shiksha ashtakam the total motive of all the shiksha ashtakam what is the motive of shiksha ashtakam why we are actually discussing it what is the purpose of that shiksha ashtakam the purpose of shiksha ashtakam is that at last just to go at the last target we should have that relationship with krishna in that we can just exchange that kind of topmost madhur rasa with krishna that we can get that topmost uh, benefit apart from no benefit can be there <coughs> in that last shlok i have already told about the two three shlokas these shlokas that how we can get abhidaya how to do bhajan how to do abhidaya and when we'll be just going in that last prayojan tattva i'll be discussing it slowly steadily by the kripa of bhagwan uh, rest is bhagwan's kripa so this actually this last avastha this is the actual result of hari naam only this is the only final result of hari naam what mahaprabhu has shown us just by naam that situation that person will get that krishna is everything for us each and every heart beat each and every pulse of our uh, there should be krishna naam inside that every, all the time only everything is krishna in that condition that uh, bad praj prem will just get manifested inside our heart and in that condition krishna whatever he will do with us we don't have any tension but there is only one thing that that at the last mahaprabhu has just shown it in front of everyone that just by taking the support of hari naam you just need to do bhajan like this mahaprabhu has shown us that this uh, the topmost target of this shiksha ashtakam slowly steadily you can just be seeing that the topmost ultimate purpose of shiksha ashtakam bonded souls to establish in naam bhajan antim mein aisa mehsoos that definitely he will be seeing it at the last that is the thing to naam bhajan 
that jealousy is there inside our heart like fire it can only get rectified by sweetness of our inam and whatever mangal in the form of mangal of those jeevas that hari mangal that uh, in chaitanya chaitamrit in shiksha ashtakam on that shloka there is one uh, meaning in chaitanya chaitamrit it is written what it is written when mahaprabhu has just uh, went to purushottam dham and was just getting this aswadan of the shiksha ashtakam just tasting the shiksha ashtakam he has just written it previously but he has just get the taste of shiksha ashtakam and has shown us that is at the last time in gambira what is actually this uh, thing harinam so in chaitanya chaitamrit it is written it is bengali but still if you will just understand it carefully you can understand by naam sankirtan only it is written there sarva shubodaya sankirtan all kind of anas just get rid of that is a normal thing very normal not like that but that whatever is actually mangal mai that we have that finite conception about of our mangal that someone has told maharaj actually just want i want mangal that is not mangal that absolute mangal uh, pathway will just get open the top most mangal mai in all the four direction there will be mangal and we will that get that krishna prema that all the time will be dancing inside our heart by sankirtan all those uh, uh, sinful activity will destroyed automatically this uh, material uh, bondage to cut that it is not a big thing because this material thing uh, material world is not a permanent place for the jeevas they have just come for a very small time temporary basis so by sankirtan all those sinful activities will get destroyed sansar this material world whatever this name is there nothing will remain this material world what will what this material world what we will get from this material world bhakti no thakur has uh, uh, spoken in kirtan is uh, speaking in kirtan what from where this material world has come huh with this friend, what is our relationship with this material world what is our no relationship is there from where this actually all father mother everything from where they have just came from where this material world came from where this has come from where someone has called this material world uh, when i have just got birth i was just uh, with a naked body i just came in this material world and i am just uh, just uh, getting into this material world and just getting grown up so mahap bhakti thakur is uh, doing very nice kirtan when i was just a uh, childhood after that i just started playing and after that what happened then uh, and when i just got into a youth age then i just uh, started studying material study and uh, day and night i will have to study otherwise i will not get married and all the people they are speaking if you need a marriage at a good place then you just need to study very well L- like it's just to do marriage that is the actual target of your studying <laughs> everyone is going like this from the childhood also they are speaking that if you will not be studying then definitely without that you will not get any good car or something it's not like that if you are old all our grandfather and grandparents used to speak you just need to study very uh, very nicely otherwise you will get a very good marriage otherwise you will not get a good marriage because you are you are not studying well so like this it is so 
This is one kind of magic spell. This is one kind of magic spell. speaking. From where this has come, we don't know. This boy, he has just grown up now. And uh, 20 years back, 25 years back, where that child was. From where this child has come. Whatever relationship we have just... Uh, just uh, have uh, got that relationship with the child. So there is also one kind of rush in that. This is called material rush. They are all the time just tasting material rush. If there is no rush, then there is nothing is there. So by Sankirtan, all those sinful activities are destroyed automatically. I have already told in the English Katha as well about this part. What it's written there? Jishmad Prashanga Vimukha Yeho Sansaranti 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 What is written? That Thakurji That who are actually against you those who are against you, those people are actually coming in this material world. They are going away and coming. They are going away and coming in this material world. It is not our uh, place. Why actually in, I have just went to Bangalore and uh, at that place I will 20 and 20th I will just go back. What do you mean by coming and going? What do you mean that this place is not there? No? That's why we are just going and coming back. So that's why it is written there. We are going and coming back. So material uh, jivas are just taking birth and just get, taking death again. So this coming and going all the time it's going on. But still they are not taking support of Harinam. They are actually not taking the support of uh, pure Guru Vaishnav and Harinam. They don't want to take that. Maybe they can take that but with Kapat Bhav they want to take. That is not permanent. That is temporary. So that's why it is written here that those who are against you, they are definitely coming in this material world. Sansaranti means Sansvi. They have just gone to foreign country. This for this material world is just like a foreign uh, place for us. And it is written there. And Chitta Shuddhi. Chitta Shuddhi, that is the topmost procedure to get medicine. Uh, there is nothing, no medicine available which can just rectify our heart and can just make it pure. And not like that, but also. It means that whatever seva you are speaking to him. Uh, definitely, I will do that. This serving attitude should be there because sadhan, sadhan bhakti, there are 64 different kind of limbs are there. Out of that, nine shravanam kirtanam, out of nine limb of bhakti is topmost. That is called Navavida bhakti. And after that, Mahaprabhu has shown us five kind of limbs of bhakti is topmost. These five kinds of limbs of bhakti, if you are just doing a little bit under guidance of Guru Vaishnav, then definitely you will become full of treasure. So what it's written there, that definitely his heart will get rectified, will get pure, but he will get that Krishna Prem as well. That Prem, Krishna Prema will just get manifested inside his heart. And that prema, that amrit is there, that prema, my amrit, that nectar, nectar of prema is there, what Prabhu is given to us, that we will also taste that. And if there is no taste, then where, where the prema is there, no prema is there actually. And if prema is actually nectar, then definitely nectar is to just taste. And if somebody has just told, oh, this is rasgulla, this is that, and nobody has tasted that, there is no experience of tasting that rasgulla. That how sweet it is because he hasn't taken that uh, rasgulla in his own lifetime. Oh, you see, this is rasgulla, then what will happen? Nothing will happen in that. 
Nice. Nothing will happen. That experience of Rasgulla should be there. After that, when it is going inside his mouth, then if he is actually not getting the taste of Rasgulla, he is very far away from that. My tongue should have connection with that Rasgulla. When it is touched with my tongue, then only that I will get the sweetness of that Rasgulla. Uh, in showcase, just in the mirror, Rasgulla is there. In a room, it is there uh, in a mirror enclosed case, and the sweetness will come when that rasgulla will come to me, and I'll just taste it with my tongue, and my tongue is just getting connected with that rasgulla. With that rasgulla is getting oneness with my tongue only. Then I will just get that amrit nectar. And if someone is just showing that frame, you see this is frame. So from a distant place, so he is not getting any taste. So what he is speaking, he will be just thinking like Indra Maharaji, like Brahma ji actually speaking to Indra. Oh, let's go to, go to heaven. What you are doing here? You know he just don't want to go there. Why you are doing here? What, you are just taking stool and urine. What is actually heaven? Whether we we will get uh, that urine stool, we can get there in heaven. Are you are foolish? <laughs> you are there in heaven. It uh, stool and urine will not get. You will get more than that. So that's why Prabhupada always with full anand and joking mood used to speak like this. So like this is the condition now. We haven't heard anything and we haven't got that realization of the Harinam and not get the taste of that Harinam. So we'll just by doing Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, you'll get the taste. No, we just need to put effort under the Anugatya of Gurudev, we just need to do Harinam. And like this, you thinking here that the Harinam will be done. Not possible. Mahaprabhu actually is speaking himself at this point. I am not speaking myself. Mahaprabhu is speaking this. Mahaprabhu is speaking this point. This Krishna Prem definitely is coming away from the sky. It will come like this only. It is not like that. Nothing you have to give it for that energy and everything. Whatever body, speech and mind you just need to do, you just need to give that. Mahaprabhu that's why speaking. Mahaprabhu himself speaking this point. Without sadhan, that sadhya vastu will not get at all. Nobody can get that sadhya vastu without sadhan. You just do grip on me, you just give me how we can get that uh, sadhya vastu. And we can do that sadhan bhakti, the abhide prayojana, you just tell me. So like this it is. And lot of people are just giving a negative uh, uh, explanation of this, or just, uh, just for themselves only. You just see. They are speaking that Narottam Das Thakur has written this, that Korang Manapu is so merciful that hmm, you, they haven't understand what Narottam Das Thakur has spoken. So we don't need to do any bhajan. It is already written there. So you don't need to do bhajan for that because you will not get the Satya Dattva. So so foolish they are having this kind of conception. Very difficult actually. This kind of topmost Siddhant in order to understand this very difficult to grasp that because the situation is so much uh, contaminated now because they are just giving explanation on their own. They have just left the Anugatya of the Gurudev. They are just doing it on their own. Very dangerous situation. Mahabrabhu is speaking this. They are actually just giving this explanation like this. Mahaprabhu speaking like you see, this is actually standing in section of Mahaprabhu. Then everyone has to do the work of Guru. The, all foolish people, everyone can become Guru. You see, it's standing in section of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu already told this point, no? Mahaprabhu has already told this point that this is my order. You, everyone can work as Guru. In local uh, train also that mantra is there. In cross quarter, they are just giving this mantra. Definitely, Prabhupada speaking this point. I'll be just discussing it tomorrow. Prabhupada always used to speak this point. I'm not speaking. Prabhupada speaking. 
Prabhupad with very distressful and unhappy mood used to speak. What is the condition here? At that time, now actually where we will go? <laughs> At that point when there was something. At that time we Prabhupada speaking this point. Now what we will do? Where we will go? Very actually it's very distressful. So this actually Mahaprabhu, that is instruction of Mahaprabhu. You just become Gurudev, you become Gurudev. It's already written, you can become Guru. <laughs> Everywhere it is written. So this kind of condition, if it is there, already it is there, so where we will go now? And uh, this uh, material, bonded jiva, slowly, steadily, they are actually having, the, they are just losing confidence on those pure Guru Vaishnav now. Slowly, steadily, this confidence they are breaking. Why? Because they have just seen this kind of uh, falseness already. So, slowly, steadily, they are actually breaking this confidence from their Shraddha, what they have before. They are not they are not having that much now. Okay, it's coming, okay. Now, this that much Shraddha is not there. So, that's why that uh, kind of instability has just came. That in this whole material, whole whole uh, life, if you will just speaking Harinam, Sankirtan and Nam and Harikatha, glorification, then maybe some person, very rare, that person will uh, just catch that glorification. And it is our duty actually to just, uh, it, it will, that crowds of people, millions of people will be hearing this. I just need to do my duty just to speak Harikatha. And if it, someone wants to hear, then okay. He can hear, otherwise it's my duty, I will speak. Very sensitive and dangerous situation now. In this whole material world, throughout the world, this kind of uh, sensitive situation is there, where this kind of absolute uh, thing about Nam Sankirtan, you just need to go ahead. It is almost impossible to go. Oh, so difficult actually. And uh, other which are, though nobody wants to take that. That is the topmost problem now. That in Chaitanya Jai Tamrit it is written that uh, it is written already. I am not speaking. But nobody wants to uh, wants to just get uh, wants to give value to this point. In Krishna, how we can get our uh, material mind to Krishna Nam? How we can just indulge ourselves in Krishna Nam? It's already written in Kirtan. We are not getting uh, ni- finding nice Krishna Nam. Why? Because it is written there already. It is already written in the Shastra, but this kind of application we are not getting in our life. We will not be finding anywhere. We are actually, everyone wants to just learn Siddhant, but in opposite, they just want to kick. They just want to kick the Siddhant and all were just to do case on that. Everything they, they want, they just want destruction, that's it. So you can't expect a positive result out of that. So Harinam, Hari, Sankirtar, Hari, Katha is all optional object. It can be there, cannot be there. Okay, it's optional for them. By Siddhant, you just become lazy, then it is very serious situation, dangerous situation. Why? Because there is no other pathway open. You are actually don't want to hear any kind of Siddhant. You don't want to hear any kind of Siddhant. So what you can do? What you can do? Tell me. Because just by learning Siddhant, just by realizing Siddhant, there is a one thing that is sure that if someone has that kind of courage, you have that inside your heart. And if you will just spread all this Siddhant in all the four directions, and you will be that will be the topmost seva. You will be spreading this in someone's ears. And someone can understand this Siddhant. Oh, this is actually Siddhant. I haven't heard this. That is the topmost seva. That is very important. But who will do that? Someone has money, some, but don't have mind. 
but someone has a nice mind but they don't have money somebody has mind but they are lazy so everything in collect in toto collection we know will not get there are lot of people are there they can do but they will not do because someone has just uh, speaking that no, don't go to sham baba he is actually speaking like this so what i can do in that i am definitely uh, having love for them internally but for each and every person how they can understand today actually i will just be giving a rest today up till this point and to tomorrow i will be just uh, discussing by the kripa of bhagwan etavanevo loke asmin pungsham dharmah parah sritah bhakti yogo bhagavati tanyam gohana divihi पांच अकल्पतोष के पास सिंधु बेचो अतिथान पापने कृष्ण भ्यो नमो